our employees are exposed to hazards every day. But quite frequently, because of that complacency and the time that they've been in the, in the workspace, they start to not see some of those hazards. And we found really, it's the, the injuries that we're incurring today are really injuries that are based on everyday hazards that we have in front of us. One of the things that we've been looking for at DT Energy is to come up with a new innovative way to introduce and talk about hazard recognition. And I think the tools and the philosophy behind uh, visual literacy is really what we were looking for. The approach is unique. It's innovative. I think it, it, people, it resonates with people well. Um, especially when you start talking about things like color and shape. There, there's something very early on in our development, I think, that it, it connects to. But when we start to say, how do you apply it to the workplace, that's when the ears perk up. And that's our opportunity to try and drive some change. We train our workers to do their tasks every day. The one thing that we don't train them to do is how do we, how do we see what's in front of us? Part of that is you have to see the hazards. So in that kind of a structured environment, giving people a structured approach to observe the task versus just what your eye is drawn to and the biases that say, I'm gonna watch where the hands are and not where the elbow is gonna go because I'm not looking at the space, but I'm looking at the action. I think that opens up some opportunity for us to be better at doing our job assessments. One of our coal plants, we have an area that's underneath our precip hoppers and we just took a still photo of that and we applied the different tools. And some of the things that we identified, we have a vac line, um, a vac line in place that is actually at a weird angle and it's right in the middle of the walkway. And it's been there forever, but because of applying the different concepts and tools that we learned in the workshop, we were able to pick up on that hazard. The more we do that in that structured environment, the more we're teaching the concept and more likely to emulate that behavior when we're not in that structured environment. When people are just walking out, doing their normal routines, they're more likely to do what they practiced. It gives you a chance to really understand and gives you tools on how to interpret what's in front of you. It's unique in the tactical approach and the potential that it has to be implemented in the field, but it's also consistent with the messaging and the strategy that we've had around safety for a few years now, which is hazard recognition and risk mitigation. Um, this just becomes another tool in the toolbox to that end, rather than something that's rebooted and brand new. It really gives people um, a methodology for applying the concept rather than just saying, view the world differently, look at your job like it's the first time you've ever done it every time you do it. That's easy to say, but without giving them a construct to operate with, it's hard to implement.